in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create these walls now in this tutorial we will learn how to place doors now at first we will create this door door size is d1 that is 900 zoom here then click on rectangle give first point take your cursor away now we know that horizontal length of door is 900 so type 900 comma we will take thickness of 25 mm enter then we will create one arc click here on the arrow near the arc and select this arc command for this arc at first we will need to give the center point we will take this point as a center point then give start point of the arc we will start arc from this point and give the end point we will give this bottom point as an end point then click on select tool so this door is created like this inside then we want same door at this two position also so to reuse this door we will create a group click and hold at this position and drag the mouse ensure that complete door will come inside the selection window so that it will select the door perfectly release the mouse so it will select the door then right click on it and click on make group so this object has become a single object then we want to place same door here to make the copy of this door press ctrl c and to paste it you ctrl v so here one copy is required and one more copy is required here again give ctrl v and click if you by mistake rotates the plan click on top view here just pan it zoom it now here we want door vertical so we will have to rotate this door click on rotate now we have selected this door by mistake just press press bar click outside then select this door then click on rotate then give first reference point for rotate Give second reference point and take your cursor above once it is vertical and it says on green axis click there so your door will become vertical then press space bar and move this door click on this door and click on move give this point as a reference point and give this point as a second point same way on this side now here we want door on this side we will need to rotate it like this again click on select tool click outside select this door click on rotate give this point as a base point this point as a second point and take your cursor horizontal on the other side and click and click on move give this point as a base point and this point as a second point and click on select tool click outside and zoom fit so these three doors are created now here one more door is required but the size of door here is larger it is of thousand size so what we will do we will just copy this door here and then we will scale it now here we will need door like this aligning to this wall so at first we will copy it click on the door then ctrl c for copy click at other position and ctrl v and click and click on select click outside now we need 
this door on this side to flip it click on the door right click and take your cursor on the flip along and we want to flip in red direction that is horizontal direction click on groups red so it has been flipped properly then just move it select door and click on move give this point as a base point give this point as a second point then we need to scale this object to match with this length click on scale then select this point take your cursor and once it shows on edge click there and click on select click outside now we want it on the corner so click on door and click on move take this end point and click at this end point of the wall select click outside now this door has been placed properly click on zoom extent same way you can place it here also so here actually door will required inside and we need door here and inside so we'll again copy this door click on select tool select this door control c click control v and click then we want it again on the opposite side right click on it and click on flip along and click on groups red then give this point move command is already running take this end point and place it here we need to scale this object so we will place it here so it will be easy to scale then click on scale take this point and once it shows midpoint click there and click on select click outside we can keep it at midpoint then same size of door we required here again select this door control c click control v and place it now we need it on this side so at first we will make it vertical then we will flip it rotate give first point second point make it vertical then right click on it take your cursor to flip along now we need to flip it vertically around this vertical line so we will take this groups green then click on move take this end point and suppose we will put it at some distance roughly here at the middle and click select click outside zoom fit now all the doors has been created in the next lecture we will learn how to create windows thanks for watching we will stop here